Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the load criteria for the diagnosis of the infective endocarditis in a visual mnemonic story to make it easy to memorize it. So, let's start. Once upon a time, there was a duke who lived in a village. Duke for duke criteria, easy to remember. The duke was known for two major things, which should make us remember the two major criteria of duke criteria too. The first one was his reproduction in agriculture field, as he owned two farms, which should make us remember one of the major criteria of the criteria, which happens to be two positive plaque culture of a typical microorganism of infective endocarditis. The agriculture should make us remember the blood culture, agriculture, and black culture. Sounds similar, right? The two farms and two black culture too. Take to the story, the second major thing was his echoing sound through the farms while he was singing as he liked to spend time a lot singing in his farms. This should bring us to the second major criteria. As typical echo finding, infective endocarditis is the second major criteria. The echoing sound and the echo finding we can relate, right? Those are the two major criteria, the two positive plaque culture for a typical endocarditis organism and the typical echo finding. Okay, let's move on to the minor criteria. One day, the duke saw a beautiful girl working in his farm. Huh? Her name was Raj. The girl's name should make us remember the immunological phenomena which happens in infective endocarditis as one of the minor criteria of duke's criteria. Raj are for growth spots, which result from antigen antibody deposition in the retina, O for ocular nodules, which result from antigen antibody deposition in the palps of the fingers and the toes, and J for glomerulonephritis, which result from antigen antibody deposition in the kidneys. The Duke immediately fell in love with her, but unfortunately, the girl didn't love him back, so he started to suffer from the hotness of his love. The hotness of his love should make us remember the hotness of the fever. The fever that at least 38 degree is a minor criteria of Duke criteria. The Duke started crying until his eyes turned red. The red eyes should remember us with the conjunctival hemorrhage, which is one of the vascular phenomena that considered as minor criteria of Duke's. Red eyes and conjunctival hemorrhage. And he was saying, Oh, her love runs in my arteries. Oh, Bulldog. The only thing that could run in arteries is the intra arterial embolism. Did I just say intra arterial embolism? Embolism is actually one of the vascular phenomena that considered as minor criteria of Duke criteria. Hmm, what a coincidence. The broken hearted Duke then suddenly disappeared. And when people was asking about him, some was answering, he may just had gone this way. And this should remember us with Gone Way Legion, which is another vascular phenomena that considered as minor criteria of Duke's criteria. It's blue-red macules over the palms and swords due to septic embola. But the Duke never came back. And from that day, the Duke's revolution in the agricultural field and his echoing sound that used to be heard in the farms were all missing. The missing major criteria should remember us that both positive eco finding and positive blood culture that don't meet the major criteria considered as minor criteria. No one knew actually why the dog disappeared back then, but his broken heart was a factor that should make us remember the presence of predisposing factors like cardiac lesion is one of the minor criteria of Duke criteria. We are not in the perfect world at Burdock, but till that our story comes to an end, so let's recap. There was a Duke with two main things known about him. One of them was his revolution in agricultural field, as he owned two farms. And this should make us remember that two positive black culture for a typical endocarditis organism is one of the major Duke criteria. And the other one was that his sound used to be heard echoing through the farms. And this also should remember us that the 
Helical echo finding of infective endocarditis is other major criteria of dukes. The duke once saw a girl, her name was Raj, and this should make us remember the immunological phenomena which considered as minor criteria of dukes criteria. R for rough spots, O for ocular nodules, and J for glomerular nephritis. The duke fell in love with her, but she didn't return his love back, and he started burning with the hot love. And this should make us remember the hot fever as one of the minor criteria of Duke's critique. He cried his eye out until they turned red, and this should make us remember the conjunctival hemorrhage. He was saying, her love runs in my arteries, and this should make us remember the intra-arteria embolies. The Duke disappeared suddenly, but some said that he had just gone in this way. And this remember us with the gunway legend. The conjunctival hemorrhage, the intra arterial embolism, and the gunway legend are all vascular phenomena that considered as minor criteria of duke criteria. The repollution in the agricultural field and the echoing sound of the duke were all no more exist. And this remember us with the positive black culture and positive echo finding does not meet the major criteria is considered as minor criteria of duke's criteria. The factor that predisposed to his runaway was his broken heart, and this should make us remember that the presence of predisposing factor is cardiac lesion is another minor criteria. Now, let's leave our duke in his grave, but before we can go, let's summarize what we have learned in this video. For the diagnosis of infective endocarditis, we need two major criteria, or one major and three minor criteria, or the whole five minor criteria. One major criteria and one minor criteria or three minor criteria raises the possibility of infective endocarditis. The major criteria are two or more positive plaque culture of a typical infective endocarditis organism or positive typical echo finding of infective endocarditis. The minor criteria are immunological phenomena in the words of Raj, R for rough spots, O for ocular nodules, and J for glomerulonephritis, fever which is at least 38 degree, vascular phenomena like conjunctival hemorrhage, intra arterial embolism, and gunway lesion, echo or blood culture which is positive but not meet the major criteria, and the presence of predisposing factor like intracardiac lesion or intravenous drug users or the presenthetic valve. For a full version of video about infective endocarditis, please follow us. It's coming soon. And for more videos like this, subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell.